What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Kyle. Uh, thank you guys for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. Um, today's video is going to be a little bit different as you can tell. I'm in the garage and I'm just going to be doing a short little video. We're not actually going to get out on the water today. Um, but that is because I'm in finals week right now. So the last week or two have been really busy and haven't had a whole lot of time to get out and film videos for you guys. But that will change soon. Um, this Friday, as soon as I finish my last final, um, I'm going up north with some buddies and we're chasing a really big bag of smallmouth. We caught over 28 pounds last time we made the trip up north. Um, we're shooting for 30 this time. So that should be a really cool series. Um, I think we're gonna have at least two or three full days up there chasing big brown ones. So, But let's get right into the video for today. All right guys, so the first bait that I'm gonna pick up every year, as soon as that ice comes off is a blade bait. This is a Domeki Vault. Um, this is my favorite style of blade bait in the gold color here. My favorite color is AYU. Gold color is probably my second favorite. This bait's gonna get a ton of bites just because when that water's super cold and those fish are on or partially in the bottom with their fins and belly literally touching the bottom. Um, this is about the only bait that they will eat sometimes just because it's a reaction thing that you're able to keep right on the bottom and just get it right in their face and get them to uh, either commit to it or literally just like run into it and sometimes you'll literally snag those fish that are so belly to the bottom that they won't eat anything else. Another bait that works really well early, early on is a net rig, as I'm sure many of you guys know. This is actually a flatworm I have on here. Um, the Z-Man elastic baits work great too, either one of those. Um, that's going to catch a lot of those very cold, slow, lethargic fish too. Um, both of those baits are my first two baits that I'm going to pick up on the year. Um, most years when that water's in the 30s. Um, as it gets up to the 40s, I'll start to transition sometimes over to a swim bait if the conditions are right. This is an easy shiner on a 3 ounce head. That bait works well. Another swim bait that I really like early on is a Mega Bass Spark Shad. Um, this is, I think this is on a 3 8 ounce head. But that's a great finesse style swim bait. Very small, very realistic. Um, another one I like is this Mega Bass Okashira head. That has those blades that spins um, as you bring it through the water column. This is a great finesse style bait when those fish are really stingy or if that water is really clear. Uh, another bait that I really like if those fish are more bottom oriented early on like hugging rock or um, some wood are dark sleepers and tubes. They're essentially the same thing, um, same profile. They're going to get the same bites, but this dark sleeper is a little bit more um, weedless. As you guys can see that hooks buried down in between those little fins up top. Um, when I Before I started throwing them, I was afraid that that would decrease the hookup ratio, but after throwing those for quite a bit this spring, um, that's not the case. I actually have a really good hookup ratio, and I've been really happy with the fish um, that I've caught on these dark sleepers here. So these are a great bait, as well as the tube. It's just kind of up to you. So that kind of brings me to the next um, style of baits, more moving baits that um, are going to become effective in that like 45 up range as those fish start to get a little more active as the weather warms up. They're going to move and push up those brakes a little more. So um, baits that I like to pick up then are hair jigs right here. These work really well on clear um, bodies of water up north um, for a smallmouth that can see really far. Those work really well. You just cast them out, long casts and uh, slow retrieve. Those are both 1 8 ounce, I believe. Um, that's my favorite weight, just because you can cast it the farthest, but that's a really finesse presentation if they're being really stingy and don't want to commit to some other moving baits. Um, if they're not being super stingy and if they're feeding actively as they push up on those brakes, um, it's really hard to beat a jerk bait in the spring as it gets to that 45, 50 degree range. So this is a Mega Bass 110 plus two, and this is a Jackal Re-Range 110. Both of these are great jerk baits that um, are very effective when the conditions are right as those fish start to push up on those brakes. Um, another bait that is a little bit out there that most guys wouldn't think traditionally to throw for smallmouth bass are crankbaits. These are both rock crawlers um, and some natural uh, crayfish colors. Another crankbait that works well are like a DT series. Um, I like a DT10 or a DT12 sometimes when I go out to St. Clair. That's where the crankbait bite kind of shines, I've found. Um, at least in my spring fishing so far, the best crankbait bite for smallmouth I've got on has been out of St. Clair just because um, as they move up shallow to get around seawalls and on that shallow cover, they get in a lot of rocks and stuff. So bringing a crankbait through, whether it's a rock crawler or a DT10 or a different style, it really gets you a lot of bites and you can cover a lot of water. So that's a really fun bite that's kind of a little bit underrated. Um, guys definitely know about it, but not so much as um, your typical, you know, Kytec or swim bait or tube or net rig. So those are kind of the basics, but 
Um, one more bait that sometimes works well, the conditions again, kind of got to be right for it, is this Alabama rig. This is still in the package. I'm not going to mess with taking it out, but um, the Alabama rig really shines when those fish are really active or the conditions are not um, ideal and there's a little bit of wind and some overcast conditions. Uh, that's when that bait can shine. These are five or six of my favorite baits. Again, there's plenty out there, but these are the ones I like to go with um, when these smallmouth are in the pre-spawn stages as they're moving up to get ready to spawn. Caught a lot of fish on each tactic. It just kind of comes down to the weather and the location. Uh, water temperature, they're all factors in which bait's gonna work best on what body of water, but these are all very key baits for targeting pre-spawn smallmouth here in Michigan. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like or a comment. Let me know um, if you want to see more videos like this, and I can definitely do some. But like I said, finishing up finals right now. Um, and once those are done, we're heading up north, and we are after some big smallmouth bass. We're going to make a lot of trips this spring um, before the tournament season starts. So there's going to be a lot of cool videos to come. Thank you guys for watching, and can't wait to get back out on the water soon.